Uh, okay, so we get to swing out from close. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. So the lead goes in front. One, two, three, and four. Catches the follow here with the right hand on count five, stepping out and letting go of the follow all at once. So that was the swing out from close. Then we got back to close. One, two, three, and four. Step, step, triple step. That's called the lead circle. Remember we practiced this little exercise where the lead would back up. Oh yeah, we did it. We got off really close first. And then the lead backed up and the follow came a little bit after. Um, and we didn't, you notice that Ray is not using his arms to pull me. You would notice if, if he was doing that, what he just did there, his arms go behind his body, right? His arms are moving past his body. His body's not moving, his arms are. That's bad. That's not bad. <laughs> if he moves his body, see where his arms are? They're still in front of his body. That's what we're looking for. So you want to step back, and then the follow will come after that. So um, two, steps, two steps back with the lead. One, two, then the lead goes in front. By here, you're in this regular position that you've been in a bunch of times before. Then you do two steps in the circle, step, step, and then the triple step, you're coming out of the rotation, and you're hopefully back facing the same way, but like we said last week, that part is not super important. Um, so don't worry about if you end up facing a weird direction in the room. That's totally fine, especially when you're first doing it. So right now, um, looking around the room, it looks a little bit like follows are just kind of going because they know where they're supposed to be. But I really want you to try to hang back and feel the lead. Start your momentum, change your direction, and stop your momentum. So that means that when I come forward, um, I'm, my momentum is going this way. Even though I'm staying square to him, which is making me change my direction, my momentum is still going this way until he stops me with his, his right arm on my back. So that means um, this is going to be the wrong way. Um, if I just did what I know is right, I might turn myself like right about here. Um, which I saw a bunch of going on. So follows, it's a it's a little bit of a skill that you have to learn. But just think about, okay, he's sending me this way. I'm staying square to him, so my body is still traveling this way, but I'm facing this direction. Um, and that gives uh, the lead something to catch and redirect. If you turn yourself, the momentum dies, right? So go all the way into that hand, and leads you're actually going to catch the momentum right here that's going to be sent, oh, sorry, sent in a circle. From here, then, this feeling we're going to practice in a second, um, this feeling about stepping in a circle, we want to think about stepping, feeling like we're going away from each other. Um, so in a second, maybe we'll try this, first of all, just kind of leaning away from each other. Um, it's a little bit like this feeling from when you were a kid, you know? Like the centrifugal force is pulling away from um, each other. It's the same feeling when we're in this position. We're kind of sitting, so we have bent knees, um, and our, our weights are pulling away from each other. So go ahead and get in this position with your partner. So we're facing each other, doesn't matter which direction. Um, and I want you to bend the knees, and we're not tilting our back, back like this. We're still like in our good linea position, but our centers are pulling away from each other. We're in this position. Good, so please, like if you let go, the follows might move a little bit away from you. Yeah. Good. All right, now once you're in this position, just try stepping to the side, each of you. So stepping to the side in a circle. Yeah. Now, I want you to remember this feeling. Because in a second, we're going to do a circle, and I guarantee you that there are going to be people who end up like this when they're in that circle. Awkward. <laughs> yeah, it is awkward, and it's also not um, conducive to the stretch that we want to feel in that moment. So, when you try the next time, we're staying square to each other. When we get to four, we're square, and as we step around in a circle, we're still square to each other. Five, six, uh, five, six, we stop on four. One, two, three, and stop. Okay, are you square to each other? Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. From here, take your triple step out of the rotation. I don't care what direction your step you're, you're facing. You're going to do a triple step that's 
taking you out of that turn, okay? It's like five, six, a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. Step, step, ripple step out. But in between the swing out on his last triple step on seven, eight, what he does differently to keep the momentum going. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Did you see it? He's moving backwards on his, on his triple step at the end on seven and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, this is the bad way. Five, six, on the spot. One, two, three. See what I mean? If, exactly. Did you guys hear what he just said? Make it one fluid move, not two distinct moves that stop in between. Um, okay, so follows. I said I had something for you too. So your thing, um, just kind of looking around the room, this seemed like the most uh, the most common thing that could be improved upon is that. Um, your lead is hopefully giving you a nice momentum straight down the line. Um, and I mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again because it seems like people are doing this um, incorrectly, that you are turning yourself like right here. And then even on the, uh, even on the way out, so starting from close, one, two, three, and four, sometimes the follows just like, they're just going right here instead of actually taking the momentum and going all the way to the end of the line until this stretch stops them. Um, so don't be afraid, follow, to actually take the momentum and go the whole way. So starting from close, I'm going to actually get some distance from my partner. We still have bent arms, and there's a, but there's a little stretch here. And then he brings me back in. I'm going to go all the way into that hand so that we have some stretch apart. If I stop my momentum and don't go all the way, we don't have that stretch. And the whole thing just kind of feels like just kind of boring and lame. <laughs> so everybody has to play their part for this stretch to happen. 